This is Yarn Trader, and this is Midday Trading. Today, we're going to take a look at one of my favorite trades, Tesla, TSLA. This video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation to buy, sell the stock, come out the ETF. Please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, here we have Tesla, your daily chart, all stretched out. Well, let me just bigger up a little bit, get a little bit closer look. All right, here was what we have. Now, you can see here how basically here we get topped right out here at that 265 level. You're right into this resistance area here. Uh, and then she just been selling. Now, look at this 8 SMA. You know, I always point out this 8 SMA. You're below the 21, the 100, the 50, the 200 day, and she's coming right on down. Now, Tesla's got a quite a few issues. Now, they keep lowering these prices because China's lowering their prices on the car. They want to do the volume. They want to take it all. So Tesla doesn't have any choice. Plus, what went on in Chicago here with this cold weather where you can't charge anything and they're calling these cars dead robots, okay? So they don't know what to do. But you have to understand, cold weather, hot weather is going to affect any kind of a battery, especially a lithium battery. So you always have to take that. Now, the earnings are coming out here on the 24th. So I'm not looking for anything great here, especially with all these price cuts here. But they are trying to get the market share. So we got to see how it's all shaken out. So let's just go by the charts. What do we have here? Now, yesterday we had a low at 212.18, and today's low here is uh, 212.35. So you're uh, basically you have an inside day here so far. Now, again, if this is lost, what we want to do here is we want to come over here to these candlesticks right here. Okay, so you want to look at this candle here. You're looking at 206.68 here. We have uh, 205.69, and then we can just take like the top of this candle here. You have uh, uh, 20208 uh, here on this candle. We have 197.85. And then we have your big retest down here, 194.67, uh, which is going to be probably where this is this is heading. Now, you look at your RSI here. Well, you know, you're basically in the uh, oversold uh, area here. Your MACD, you got plenty of room to go on the downside. Look at the MACD here. Look at the MACD here. So, Again, even if this does go lower here, you can ride it out. See how this here, even though you're going lower here, you're just going like a sideways action. So we just got into that, that sell point. So basically what you have to just look at here is you're, you're right at support levels here. Because if you take the bottom of this candle right here, you're looking at uh, a 211 here. You see, when you, when you look at this, see you're in the support levels here. Uh, right now, but again, if that's lost, then we just follow these candles here all the way down until you get to your big uh, retest. Now, on the upside, well, bottom line here is you know you, you got a ways to go here, but what you want to do is look to the bottom of this candle here. Uh, you're looking at uh, 217.15. We looked at the top of this candle at uh, 223.49, and then we looked to the top of this candle here at 225. Uh, 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 what is that? Uh, yeah, 34. And then we have this 8 SMA, and this is going to be the killer right here at that 228.36 as it comes down. Again, if you can get above that, there's a lot of resistance. You have your 200-day at 231. We have your 50-day uh, at 237. Then we have your 100-day, and then we have your 21-day. Your but it just seemed like, see, look at this 21-day here. It looks like it just everything just wants to roll over. But this 8-day is going to be very, very critical. So, again, you want to watch yesterday's low here at that uh, uh, 212.18. And then we just follow these candles all the way down. Now, let's take a look here at uh, Tesla on a weekly and a monthly chart. Okay. Uh, weekly chart, monthly chart. Now, we lost this key level of support right here. This is that 218.45. Okay. That is a 200 SMA. That is very, very critical. And now we're right up against here, this 50 SMA here at 2.1037. Uh, now, you can see how many times that it came down. Now, it broke through there, but as you've been holding here on a uh, monthly situation very, very nicely. So this is going to be very, very key at that uh, uh, 2.1037. Uh, and if that is lost here, then the next level here is going to be this 194.07, which is bottom, basically, that candle right there. And on the upside, you, you want to get above this key 218.45 and retake that. And then right above that, we have your 50-day at 224. And then we have your 100-day here at 233. And then we got your 8 and 21-day jammed up at 238. But you can see this. You see you have a high, lower high, lower high. 
that's never a good pattern. But now what we're doing on the monthly chart, see, we have a good, you have a wedge going on here where you're going to be, this is coming down and then that's going up here. So eventually she's going to break one way or the other. Now, again, I don't have, you know, like when with Elon Musk, you know, he could surprise you and something could kind of, you know, this, this could just blast right on higher once we get that wedge actually tightened in here for the month. Now, he wants to try to get back 25% of his stock. So I don't know how this is all going to shake out, but I think one of his big mistakes here was taking over this Twitter and, this, you know, turning to X and you had a 40, you paid 44 billion for this. It's worth maybe five, eight billion if that. Um, see, I mean, that was his big. He should just focus on, uh, on your Tesla here, focus on your SpaceX. I get that you want to do everything. I understand that. I'm down with the sickness, but, you know, sometimes you got gots to know your limitations here. So basically what we want to do is we need to hold this on a monthly basis, this 210.38 here, and you really need to reclaim this 200-day at uh, 230, uh, yes, uh, what is that? Yeah, two, 218.45, and then we have a chance to go up here. But I just don't like this series of lower highs. That's really not good. Now, again, if you lose this, 194.07. Well, then we know that we can come all the way down, actually down to this candle here, which is basically 152.37. And then you could come all the way down to this retest level of 101.81. Uh, this is when he was buying that X nonsense here. You came all the way down. Look how much it. But again, for me, this was great because you can also, this is a very easy way to short this, which I've been trading here, is TSLS. So you can just buy that. It does, uh, uh, um, uh, really good here on um, on your volume. You have you have decent volume on this thing, and you can make money here at going down. So we don't care if the stock goes up or stock goes down. We got no skin in the game. All we want to do is make the money off it. So always remember TSLS, easy way to take the short on the old Tesla. So if this loses that 194.07, then you're going to come down to this price channel level right here, and then we can have this price channel level here, and you could come all the way down on that 101.81. So we got to see what's all going to shake out here for the earnings here on uh, going to be on the 24th. So for me, this is basically just a scalp trade of a long in the short. Um, now, when we look here at your RSI, well, you know, that could go either way. This here is uh, bearish. Your green is blow your red here. It's trying to work it up here, but it's just coming right on down on a weekly basis. This here could go either way, but... Right now, I just don't like this whole scenario. And when you look at a monthly chart here, you can see where you had a really high here on your RSI here. And then you had even higher here on your candles, but you had a lower here. And then you're a real high and another lower. See, that's a tell that that's just going, that's just going, you know, south. So always look at your RSI here. Look for divergences, your positive, your negative divergence here. Always keep an eye on your MACD. That's always good. And the key here is today, or not today, but just keep, a, keep your eye on these price channels at 194.07. If that is lost here, we could go much lower. And this is going to be the key on a closing basis for the month is 210.37. All right, that's what I got for you on the Otessie. Thanks for watching.